Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to our next lesson, Equal Parts. Before we begin, please make sure you have your math workbook, a pencil, and crayons that are red, green, and orange. And when you have those materials, you can come back and continue on with the lesson. So today we're talking about equal parts, okay? And we're still working on the essential question, how can I recognize two-dimensional shapes and equal shares? All right, so let's begin with our first little math warm-up. We want to know, how, how do you know if a shape is divided into equal parts? Well, here I'm looking and it appears that this is a pie, a circle, okay? And it is a pie. Well, it looks like it could be two parts that are equal, right? By cutting it in half. All right, so that would be my guess, is that if it looks like there's the same amount, then it could be equal parts, such as now. This they want us to decide. Jocelyn had a cake at her birthday party. She wants to cut it into two equal parts. Draw a line to show how she should cut the cake, or she can cut the cake. All right, well here, I'm going to do the best I can because remember, unless we're measuring and that sort of thing, you always try to do the best you can to, met, to cut or divide something equally. So we could either go across or up and down. So I'm actually going to try going up and down, all right, to show how she could cut the cake into two equal parts and see if you agree with me. All right, so I'm trying to do the best I can. So I would say that's without me measuring, I think that looks pretty equal, right? Yeah, so that would be one way to show equal shares, all right? All right, let's continue on to this one. Derek makes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He wants to share it equally with his friends. He cuts the sandwich into four equal parts to share with friends. Draw lines to show four equal parts. Now, if you'd like to do this on a whiteboard, make a square and do your version of cutting it into four equal parts. So I'm going to, once again, first I'm going to start this way. I'm going to cut as best I can equally. All right, well, I guess that could be better. I should probably go over a little bit more. All right, so here's, now they want four equal pieces. So if I cut this way, all right, and I'm sure that we could come up with other ways to cut into four equal. Let's try another way. Um, okay, some people like to cut on a diagonal, so that might be a little easier because I could go from corner to corner, right? And then I could go this way, and there's four equal parts that way by looking at each corner. So sometimes there's more than one way to cut something into equal shares. Okay, so let's see now. You can turn to page 681, all right? and take out your crayons and your pencil. And if you need to pause this to find that page, do that now. All right, so here they want us to look at equal parts of these shapes. So they're showing a trapezoid and over a hexagon. Now, it's, I want you to trace the dots, the dotted lines with your pencil, okay? Just do one shape at a time. So if you were to trace your dots, all right, with a pencil, how many equal, how many equal shares or how many trapezoids would you get when you divide it into two equal parts? Two, okay, so you can trace that. And then you can color it in red to match the blocks. All right, now for the large triangle, I'm going to trace the lines. And as you count, you can color in the green to match the triangle and fill in how many equal parts. 
and once again for a square, same thing. All right, now they're doing it this way. As we talked about before, you can do it the other way as well and color that orange. All right, so you can pause this to complete this page and then go to the next page when you return. All right, so now, there they have answers written in. Okay, let's look at the see and show. A whole can be separated into equal parts or equal shares. Equal parts of the whole are the same size. So here, um, they have it divided like this. Now, this, I know it's not equal, but if you were to try to cut something or fold something that's a square into equal parts, this is another way. Not as easily done as the squares are, but this could also be, if you took the time to measure, another way to do equal shares. And the same thing with this square. And again, I know they're not equal because I just drew them with the drawing tool. All right. But that's to show that equal parts can look differently. Okay. So equal parts of the whole are the same size. All right. So here they go right here. Four and two. Okay. Now let's go to our number one. They want you to look and write how many equal parts there are for each shape. So pause now and write your answers and then come back and check. So for number one, there are two equal parts and number two, there are four equal parts. Okay. Now this time you are going to draw lines to show equal parts. All right. Here they would like you to have two equal parts. And on number four, they would like you to have four equal parts. So pause the video and write or draw your lines to show equal parts. Do the best you can freehand. Okay, so I would start at the corner and because if I had a paper triangle, that's how I would fold it, okay? And here, I would again, I would fold it here. Now, yes, could you draw two more straight lines this way? Absolutely. And then I think of it this way also, okay? So again, you're taking your time, you're doing the best you can to show equal parts, all right? All right, let's go to the next one. All right, how do you know when parts are equal? What is a way when you want to be sure that they're equal? What could you do? Tell somebody next to you what's one answer. And if you have one, try to remember from when we have a discussion in our math groups. Right, you can measure, okay. Has anybody ever stacked things one on top of the other to see if they all match the edges together? Yeah, that's another way, right? So you could measure. If it's a paper, you could fold it before you cut it and cut along the lines. So if, if you want to be sure, that's a good way to check how parts are equal. All right. Okay, for five through eight, please... Look and see how many equal parts there are. Write the number. Okay, so pause and then come back to check your answers. And here are your answers. Check to see if you need to correct it. Certainly feel free to. All right, for 9 and 10, again, draw lines to show equal parts. This one is four equal parts, and number 10 is for two equal parts. Okay, let's check. Well, for four, okay, as I said, you could go from corner to corner and corner to corner if you wanted to do something different, okay? Now, do we have more than one way we could do a trapezoid? No, because if I tried folding this piece down to this piece, are they equal? No, because then you're going to have, it, it angles in on both ends. So the only way that you could make this equal is to 
draw a line straight down the middle this way. And again, I know this is not perfectly equal, but if I were to, able to measure it, then I could check it. Okay? So that's why I say just do the best you can. All right. Now, for number 11, I would like you to please circle the shape that shows equal parts, pause, and solve the problem. And here you go. Yes, it's the one in the middle. Sure, you can look and see none of these have equal parts. All right. Jasmine cut her sandwich into two equal parts. Circle Jasmine's sandwich now. And then come back and check your answer. Good job. The last one. Damon is sharing a pie equally with three friends. How many equal parts does he need? Well, let's think. There's three friends and Damon. How many equal parts? Pause and solve now. Okay, so if you had Damon plus three friends, you would have four, correct? Let's see. That's right, four equal parts. All right. Isabel and Katie cut this pizza to share with their two friends. Tell why they are wrong. Make it right. Okay, so if there's Isabel and Katie plus two friends, how many? That's right, two plus two is four. So what do they have to do to make it right? There's not enough shares there, is there? No. Okay, so they need to cut the pizza, right? They need to cut the pizza into four, oops, spelled that wrong, typo, four equal pieces. Okay. All right, boys and girls. So that was today's lesson, easy peasy. And I will see you in group. And we are going to go over the homework page and talk a little bit about some of the vocabulary. I will see you in a little while. Bye-bye.